This is BBC News. Hello, I'm Ros Atkins. A week on from the death of Queen Elizabeth, tens of thousands of people are paying, queuing to pay their respects to the monarch. Also, Prince William has been meeting well wishers at Sandringham, telling them how walking behind his grandmother's coffin brought back memories of his own mother's death. In London, people are being warned they will have to queue for eight hours or more to see the Queen lying in state. I'm Sean Lay at Westminster, where the palace has released further details of Queen Elizabeth's funeral to be held on Monday. Also in this hour, we'll talk about President Putin. He's admitted that China has concerns about the war in Ukraine as he meets President Xi Jinping for the first time since the invasion. And one of the all-time tennis greats, Roger Federer, has announced his retirement. Welcome to BBC News with Sean Lay in Westminster and me, Ros Atkins, in the BBC Newsroom. Tens of thousands of people are waiting for their turn to pay their respects to Queen Elizabeth II at Westminster Hall, where she's lying in state. These are live pictures from Westminster, where the queue is currently stretching over five kilometres. Some people have waited for more than eight hours to get to this point inside Westminster Hall, where the closed coffin is being guarded by soldiers from units that serve the royal household. That process will continue 24 hours a day until Monday morning at 6.30 a.m. Well, for the latest on this period of national mourning, let's bring in my colleague Sean Lay in Westminster. 